Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Yosha and I'm your go-to girl for all things real. So today's video is going to be a series of different clips, but I'm taking down my braids. Y'all, these braids have been in for about almost two months. And so it's time for them to come out. I'm actually gonna just show y'all what they're looking like. You know, all the new growth. It's time. It's time for a change. So I'm about to start taking these out and I wanted to film the process in clips. Now some of the clips are going to be on this camera and some of them are going to be on my phone. But I wanted to just show y'all kind of like the new growth. And typically I like to take my braids down when they start to kind of hang a little bit. Like I don't know how well you can see that. But I like to take them out when it gets to that point. And then like if you look here, you can kind of see where some of the, the braid is starting to like twist around and stuff. So I have to be very careful with this area. And it's really more so on this side. I know some people are like, no, they don't look bad. But yeah, it's time. It's time. And then I'm going to shampoo my hair, deep condition, deep condition. But I just want to do an intro so y'all can see I'm about to take these braids out. Hey y'all, so I know I was supposed to come back and like do a bunch of stuff, but it was a lot going on today. So I ended up not being able to film as much as I like, but this is really my setup towards the end. Anytime I take down my braids, I use my rat tail comb, which um, the metal tip one that I showed y'all, it broke. So it was able to be put back in, but I didn't want to keep using it. And since my braids were bigger this time, I just switched to this one. And I used my scissors to cut my hair. Honestly, y'all, I'm not being picky about how I cut it because I plan on cutting my hair off soon. And you need a plastic bag. I keep my braids in a plastic bag to make the cleanup easier. And like I was saying, like I literally comb out every single braid when I take it out because I find that doing this I'm just trying to sure y'all see and I'm just trying to comb all that dirt out all right all right I'm just gonna put this to the side so I can see. <laughs> and then y'all can see where my edge is. I'm gonna be trying some edge hacks very soon because y'all can see where my hair is very thin. Like my hair is very thin right here. It's not bald, but it's thin. Like it's enough to cover it. But it's gotten <sighs> it's gotten pretty thin around this area from wearing braids. So that's what I'm trying to show. Like this middle area is fine, but it's really just like around this area. It's really gotten thin from wearing those braids. So I wanna give them a break and just do like cornrows to the back with my real hair for the next probably two to three months the rest of the summer just to give my hair a break from the tension of extensions um and just prepare it because once i cut it and i start wearing it in the real state i don't want to feel like i can't wear my hair out or i'm ashamed and honestly i'm not ashamed like my hair y'all see how long it's gotten is looking pretty healthy it's just that the front, once you be wearing a lot of those braids and stuff like that, you have to be careful with that pulling. It's always something. So it's like you can grow your hair out with protective styles, but sometimes those protective styles also make your edges thin if they don't take them out. And so you have to just keep that in mind, like you're growing your hair, but if you don't want your edges to be super thin, be careful with the pulling. 
Personally, y'all, I hate taking down braids. I hate taking down twists, all of that, because it takes forever. But I typically wear kinky twists, single ease twists. I tried crochet once on my channel. I try to link that card above if I keep myself talking in this video. But I didn't love it, you know. So I may be trying some other crochet methods, some other crochet hair, because the braid down for crochet is similar to that of a sewing, and sewings grew my hair real long in the past. So that might be better for it. But as y'all can see, I just start from the bottom. I just comb it out, and then I try to get out that dirt. Like I hope y'all can see, because my hair is kind of longer than the frame a little bit, but. I just tease it out. And the objective is to just get all that dirt, okay? So now, I'll take my little scrunchie off and I'm gonna run my hands through. And just, ooh, it's getting stuck. It's getting stuck in there. And just show y'all what the hair is looking like. And it's like, I feel like one side is thriving, one side is not. As y'all can kind of see. It's grown so much. Boogie fever. <laughs> I always love that fresh took out the braids look. It just be looking so long and bam. And once I wash it, it ain't gonna look like this no more. But yeah, that's what that's looking like, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But y'all can see like how I got all that dirt. Y'all ain't seeing no dirt around this area of the head around the front. I try to get all that dirt out. And so, yeah, that's taking down the braids. I didn't record the whole thing, y'all, because I've been at this for the last three and a half, four hours, but that's what it's looking like. And I will decide if I'm gonna like try to film myself washing and all that. It's hard to get them angles, y'all. But I plan on using this product to wash and condition my hair and i have a little bit of wild growth oil which is like my favorite product i like to put that right around here in that thin area of my head i've been putting this on my hair the entire time that i've had these braids in too this bottle is about i say a little over half full, but I use it regularly and I just massage it in around the front of my hair. I also put this product on my eyebrows to try to keep those growing because I don't wear a lot of makeup. So what you see is what you get, all right? And I just try to massage that in as well. And my hair is gonna drink that, y'all. It's gonna drink it. <laughs> but I'm just putting that oil in my hair because it's drizzy dry. Y'all hear that crunchy sound? <laughs> Ooh. Let me just go around the back. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna shampoo it after I get on live, but I'm already late. I'm already over an hour late, so I don't wanna do it just yet. I like I anointed myself with oil, y'all. All right. I'm about to take a couple of little flex pictures. Y'all can see the dandruff, y'all. It's dry. My hair dry as hell. All that on my shirt. It's dirty because it's this hairstyle I've been in for like two months. But yeah, that's that's the look right there. Bye. I do it from the back shot.
out the shower here so y'all can see. Get my braid down. <laughs> I ain't even show y'all me detangling it because I was up late. It's my cousin's name. Hey. It took me forever, y'all. But I'm gonna put them texture shots. Y'all probably already seen them if you on this clip, but it's growing. I just want to come and show y'all that this is one of my work wigs that I wear. It's a really simple wig. It ain't nothing too much crazy about it. But I have my hair braided down because I am taking a break from box braids for the rest of the summer. Because I find that those are not the best for my hair. Um, well, let me, let me rewind back. It's not that they're not the best for my hair. They've grown my hair like crazy, as y'all can see. And I'm almost completely completely natural in the back but I feel like it's a lot of tension around my edges and stuff like that so I ordered some wigs um I bought some wigs prior to the pandemic that I wanted to try out this summer so I had my cousin braid my hair down so I can basically be able to try on different wigs so I will be trying out different units and probably for the next couple of months, I'll be wearing wigs and just keeping my hair braided down to give myself a little break from being, you know, braids pulling on this around this part of my hair. So that wraps up this video. Let me know if you have any wig recommendations for me. Um, and yeah, I might even go get some bundles and have my cousin try to make me a wig or something or whatever. But this is just one of my little throw on wigs. You know, when you be on a Zoom call, you can be looking like you're ready for work. That's it. But yeah, bye y'all. Subscribe to my channel. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you have any wig suggestions. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all in the next one.